In this tutorial, we'll create a Bootstrap 5 transparent sticky nav bar. All right, so I have created a simple project here. I'm just linking to the Bootstrap file. So this is for the CSS, this is for the JavaScript, and it's currently empty. So I see this. This is what we want, right? So as we scroll, that it scrolls with us. So I'm quickly going to copy the nav bar component from their documentation because, you know, there's quite a quite a few classes the HTML is quite uh, you know chaotic so you're not going to remember this so just copy it from their documentation so make sure you, you get the right version though I'm, I'm using 5.2 as long as you're using at least 5 uh, this should work so I'm just going to copy this and I will quickly modify it to get exactly what we want here so let's see if I just copy their example we get this I'm going to remove this disabled stuff I'm also gonna push everything to the right side. I can do this with margin start auto. It will add as much margin to the left side as possible, right? So in Bootstrap 5, it's using margin start instead of margin left. Um, I wanna make this dark, so I'm gonna say BG dark. It's gonna give us a dark background color. And then the, to get the text light, I actually have to use nav bar dark, which is a little bit confusing, but this will theme the nav bar as dark, which means the text will actually be lighter. And then I also wanna um, add more space to the side of the viewport, right? So that's what this container class is for. Container fluid will actually make it 100% of the width, but with just container, it's gonna restrict the width a little bit more, right? Also, when I make the viewport smaller and smaller, it's gonna restrict it a little bit more, okay? So now, let's say, right, so right now we don't have much content, so we cannot scroll. So I'm quickly gonna give the body some uh, height of let's say, you know, something big, like 5,000 pixels. When you do that, we can scroll, right? But it's not scrolling with us. So how do you do that? Well, it's actually quite straightforward. You say fixed top. So it will fix the nav bar to the top. Um, and now when you do that, it's gonna use position fixed in CSS. And that will actually take it out of the normal flow as it's called, right? So it's really important that you have mastered CSS and also JavaScript um, if you wanna work with Bootstrap. So I have courses on them. If you wanna take them to the professional advanced level, check them out, the links are in the description. But what it will do is other elements will act as if it doesn't exist. So you may get this shift of content upwards, right? Because suddenly this, this 56 pixels, I believe of height does not exist anymore, right? So what what you can do is you can add some padding to the top of the body to push the other content that you may have here like the hero section down again so now we added um, as much padding to the top as the height of the nav bar right and uh, this is about what we want by the way if this was helpful i'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe also check out my courses on css and javascript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level because in there we will build some beautiful real world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master css or javascript and i will also release other courses soon like react and node.js so if you want to be notified then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter you can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.